Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial. First of all, I would like to apologize to all of you that I have not uploaded any videos in two weeks. And I would like to thank all of you that you supported me. Anyways, today we are going to create this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, it's called main comp. Now create second composition and it's called scene 1. Then create a placeholder 1 composition. Go to placeholder 1 comp and select rectangle tool. Fill color none. And stroke white, and stroke size around 35 pixel. Double click to create a perfect rectangle, then drag your image into timeline below the shape layer. Now go to scene 1 comp, then go to project window and duplicate the placeholder 1 comp. Duplicate the placeholder comp so many times as you have the images. We have 10 images so I am duplicate placeholder 1 comp 10 times. Drag all placeholder comp into timeline. Select all placeholders comp layers and hit S for scale and change scale size 50% and also turn on 3D layer now we need to replace all placeholders images so I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait we do our image replace process after that we need to place our placeholders randomly, like this, except our first placeholder 1 comp layer. After place all placeholder layer comp it's look like this. Now we need to create a new solid background layer. Then apply gradient ramp effect and change your color as you like. Now we need to animate our first placeholder comp layer. So go to 2 view horizontal view. And hit P for position, and add a keyframe on first frame. Then go to one and half second forward and move Z position around minus 300. Then go to again few second forward and add a keyframe on same amount. Then go to again few frame forward and change Z position, zero. Now search drop shadow effect. Change opacity around 40%. Then go to first frame and add a keyframe on distance and softness. And move direction around 250. And change distance 15, and softness 30. Then go to next keyframe. And change the distance 150. And softness around 250. Now go to again next keyframe, and add a keyframe on same amount. Then go to again next keyframe, and copy the first keyframe, and paste it on the last keyframe.
Now select all position keyframe and easy ease them. And go to graph editor and make your graph like this. Now create a camera, I am using 35mm preset camera. Now we need to animate this camera, so hit P for position. And also show the keyframe on first placeholder comp layer. Because we need to add keyframe on same exact position. Move Z position little far from the camera. And before we animate camera, select background layer and add CC repeat aisle effect. Expand right and left, around 5000. And down and up, around 1000. And tiling unfold. Now go to camera layer, and go to first frame of time align, and add a keyframe. And move this keyframe, then go to again first frame and change X position, like this. But you are free to do any animation as you like, then go to next keyframe and move X position little bit, so that our comp does not look static. Now go to last keyframe and move X position. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. Now we need to animate focus distance and aperture and blur level. Open camera option. Go to our second keyframe. And change focus distance, aperture, and blur level. Change aperture around 150 and increase blur level around 425% and focus distance around 1750 pixels and add a keyframe on focus distance and blur level then go to first keyframe and change focus distance around 3000 pixels and blur level around 325% then go to next keyframe and add a keyframe on same amount then go to last keyframe and copy the same first keyframe Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a new composition, it's our text composition. Select text tool, and type your text. Then open text layer, and add position. And opacity. Change opacity 0%, then open range select a 1. Go to few frame forward and add a keyframe on offset. And change offset minus 100%, then go to few frame forward and change offset 100%. 
Now go to one second forward and add a keyframe on same amount. Then again go to few frame forward and change offset minus 100%. Now open advance, and change shape ramp up. And turn on randomness. Now go to scene 1 and drag text 1 comp. And turn on 3D. And also parent with the first placeholder comp layer. Now go to 2 view horizontal, and move the text layer front of the first placeholder layer, and place it where you want. Now drag particle footage into timeline, and change mode normal to screen. And turn on 3D, and increase the size, so that our part can fully cover our comp. And also move the particle layer front of all layer. Our first scene 1 has complete, do the same with other scene composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.